Almost every single American will be affected in some way by today's Supreme Court decision overturning Roe v. Wade. Beyond abortion, Justice Clarence Thomas writing in his concurrence, he expects other major decisions to be revisited, including the right to same-sex marriage and the protection of birth control. Joining us now to talk about what this decision means and what we might expect going forward is Penn State Professor of Law, Dara Purvis. And thank you so much for joining us, taking the time to talk with us on this busy day. First no, off, what does this ruling mean right now for Pennsylvanians? So the first thing I want Pennsylvanians to know is abortion is still legal in Pennsylvania. There are over a dozen states that almost immediately snap into prohibiting abortion, but Pennsylvania is not one of them. Uh, the legislature has been attempting to prohibit abortion in Pennsylvania, likely will in the future. Governor Tom Wolf has vetoed those bills in the past. So it means our governor's election this fall is really going to be a referendum on abortion in Pennsylvania. Will we see a disproportionate effect on women of color and women who are, in low, who are lower income? No question. Women who have the resources to travel to a state where abortion is legal will still be able to access abortion in a safe and legal manner. Women who don't have those resources and aren't able to secure them through contributions to things like abortion funds will likely take dangerous steps into their own hands to desperately try to end their pregnancies. That's what happened before Roe v. Wade, and we're gonna see it happen again. And even for women who are forced to continue their pregnancies, women who are lower income and women who are not white face worse, worse health outcomes. The maternal mortality rate for black women is three times what it is for white women. So we are going to see some very negative effects for poorer women, for women of color, and for people throughout the country. And if you don't mind me asking from a personal perspective, what do you think about this ruling? Uh, personally, I'm horrified by it. I'm a mother of three, and before I had my children, I had an ectopic pregnancy. And ectopic pregnancies are a leading cause of death in the first trimester. If I hadn't been able to access comprehensive reproductive care, I could have died. And I wouldn't have the three children that I am very happy to have today. And I hate the idea that other women are going to go through those kinds of medical crises without any rights, without help, and be forced to make some very, very difficult decisions. And uh, what are the implications for rulings like Justice Thomas wrote, so like same-sex marriage, birth control, and others? The rule of law is really in question. Justice Thomas explicitly said we should overrule the cases that give us access to contraceptives. We should overrule Obergefell v. Hodges, which instituted marriage equality for same-sex couples. We should overrule this entire line of cases based on the privacy right that protects individual rights that I think people take for granted. Now, Justice Alito writing for the majority tries to cabin his opinion. He says the right to privacy doesn't make sense. It doesn't protect abortion. It's an illegitimate constitutional doctrine. But don't worry, abortion is different because it's about the potential unborn life. I don't find that limitation convincing. I don't think any lawyer finds that limitation convincing. I think there are plenty of states and activists ready to send cases up to the Supreme Court saying overturn these other cases too. And Justice Thomas is the one who's willing to say, yep, I would be very happy to do that for you. Well, Dara, thank you so much for joining us on Friday night and giving us your input. It was really helpful. My pleasure.